So let's talk about the Samsung Fold and what a garbage phone this is. Horrible investment. Literally a piece of junk to own. Uh, you know, I was intrigued by these folds when they first came out. And I knew some people had some issues with them, so I didn't buy one, I didn't buy two, I didn't buy three. I went until the four came out. It was time for me to get a new phone. Um, I was intrigued by having a big screen, but also, you know, a small screen if you want it. Uh, and, you know, Verizon sold me on it. Yeah, three years, and it was like $30, $39 or something for three years, whatever. $2,500 phone, guys. And uh, so I get one, and I do like it for a while. It's different. Took me a while to figure out because I have to have a wallet case. Took me a while to figure out the case I wanted, and and I liked it. Uh, if you at certain times, you know, if you know you're gonna be able to watch uh, media for a while or read, um, these things are great. You know, whip them out, unfold the phone, and really get a big screen. However, that usually means you're using two hands. Um, which is kind of annoying anyway. However, uh, you know, within a couple months of having my first one, it failed. You got a dead pixel in the middle of the screen. Uh, Samsung, well, Verizon actually replaced that under warranty, right? Uh, get another one, and within a few more months, it fails. Um, total hinge failure. I had a time getting Verizon to replace that one. They tried to make me... Uh, claim it on insurance. Uh, insurance would say, no, we only do it if you damage it. Uh, you need to get a manufacturer replacement from Verizon. I went back and forth with them forever. Finally got Verizon to replace it. And now I've got what I like to call fold, Samsung fold anxiety. So every time you fold this thing, you can kind of feel as the hinge is starting to go. Now my hinge it's still working okay, the screen's still fine, but the phone no longer folds completely flat. That's as far as it goes now, which tells me the hinge is in its, its uh, you know, it's going to fail eventually soon. I'm ready to get rid of this. Here's the problem. Uh, I've had this thing for almost two years, and I still owe $800 on this phone. That's right. $799, that for almost two years, um, which wouldn't be a big deal, except Verizon is not accepting these folds for almost any of their trade-ins, uh, and Samsung is giving, I think, $400 trade-in for this phone. Uh, you can buy this $2,500 phone on eBay for like less than $300. So, you know, I knew I was paying a lot for this, but I expected this to hold its value like my Note 20 Ultra did. That's what I'm filming this on right now. I got the Note 20 Ultra. It's been, what, over four years ago? And, you know, uh, it was probably $1,200 when I got it. And Samsung's giving the same trade-in value for it as they are this $2,500 phone from two years ago. So these things just do not hold their value at all. Nobody wants them. Um, so just walking around all day with the anxiety of when is this hinge going to fail. Uh, that and not only that, but the weight. The weight is starting to really annoy me. Holding it one-handed like this, you really notice the weight. Um you know, if I'm trying to wear athletic shorts, basketball shorts, or, or dry fit shorts, the weight of this phone, you can't even really put it in your pocket. It will pull your pants off. Um, I'm just ready to go back to a regular phone. Uh, additionally, at the time I got this phone, I was out and about more. Now I'm working remotely. Um, so I don't need, I'm on computers all day. I don't need a boss device. I, in fact, I need a very minimalist device. Um, so I think I'm just going to go with an S24 Plus. I really wanted to go with an S24, just some type of small phone. But it just, the ba the batteries are too low when you get into the small phones. So I just went with an S24 Plus. And I can't really do anything with this because I can't trade it in until it's paid off. So I'm just going to have to probably lay this phone on my bedside 
and use it via Wi-Fi and just not take it out in the world and try not to break it anymore. Um, just use it as a bedside phone and throw my SIM card in another one. So it sucks, but it's going to have to be the way it is. Anyway, the moral of this story, if you're done listening to my rambling, is uh, don't don't get into the folds. The Fold 5 and the Fold 6 are virtually the same as this. They're not worth it. Maybe the flip, but honestly, I don't think the folding screen tech is there yet, and I really don't think it's necessary either. Uh, I don't recommend it. Uh, somebody asked me, before I go real quick, somebody asked me about waterproofing. Yeah, this thing is uh, this thing's waterproof or whatever. You can drop it, but what it's not is dustproof. So dust and sand don't take this anywhere near the beach guys dust or sand or anything can get inside those hinges and make your hinge fail completely so get out of your b so anyway stay away from the folds they're stupid pointless horrible horrible holding their value garbage phones see you in the next one